Hello, what is up, YouTube? Uh, welcome to like my Device Kingdom content. Um, actually, I'm the players that um stick with the Device Kingdom since like for the last two years, and they like I see like um, this game five project is go very well, and now we got like a one of the official like the PB contents that we can hunt for some items, and I'm lucky enough to get this pretty sword, um, the goblets. Um, actually, I did. Uh, I just discussed with Bolon in the Discord channel. Actually, this one has like around like one percent drop rates, and also now there are some other items that you can collect from this quest. Uh, for example, the wall shard here. Um, the wall shard drop rate is around ten like percent, um, and uh, we can use this for to access like uh, for the future contents. Uh, right. Uh, for this video, um, I will try to like um, to explain like uh, that describe the team that I'm using to pass this this content, uh, and like the average level of the character that I'm use um, in this content is around like eleven or twelve, and we need the team that I use is mostly like uh, the meta team. The meta team consists of like three uh, out of the classes that had has the skill recently. Um, for the backward position, we will use the priest. Um, actually, the priest would be nice if you have uh, if, if you have the HP like uh, 400 or more. Uh, this will help you a lot in order to like to, to tank the, the damage from like um, the Matebua. And then like uh, for the middle position, you can use like the um, the archer. And the last one, you also need like uh, the knights um, as a tanker. And the HP would be nice if you got like 600 or, or more. So this is my team. And then um, we will. I will let you share their their skills that I'm using right now. And the skill for the priest here. Um, actually, we use like a, the holy light line. Uh, this line of the spell. Now, actually, we use the holy light in order to like to make the priest able to do some of the damage um, to the targets. And also this skill, the holy light can also do like a, a consistent damage as as well. And also like uh, we are using the holy guardian to increase um, the healing potency. This one will helps you to like uh, to gain more uh, like um, the healing amount for the skill. And also uh, in the case that you got like uh, some of the serious AOE, you can also like um, the holy circle in order to like heal all of your teams at the same goal. And also the holy be the holy beacon. This one is very great in order to like um, uh, this. This can be used as the replacement uh, for this skill, and also it has like the continuous healing amount as as well. Um, it helps like um, uh, to put some of the continuous healing and like keep your tanker still on going on the tanks. The second one um, is the archer. The archer skill is like. We we'll are going for this line, the multi shot. Um, uh, we we use all of the discipline flurry. This one is the best. I could say that uh, compared to the three skills, this line, the flurry line, is the best line to make like a, the consistency uh, of the damage and then like deal the hard damage to the boas. And the last one, uh, for the knights. Uh, for the knights, actually, I think like um, this is like the skill set that I use a lot. Um, the skill line. Uh, we will have like this one, the mighty strike. Um, the mighty strike helps to like to do some of the consistent damage to the boas, and also um, it can help to do some kind of the like defense break by fifteen percent. And we have like a uh, another one. Is that we have this one? We have like a forever Willitian uh, Willitian. This one helps to like to do some of the deaths. We can like um we can. Uh, attack the enemy and like make them to make the death effects. It means that like when the en 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 enemy they will got the turn right. If uh, if they got the death, which means that um, their turn will be get interrupt in some in some way. And also um, to another is for honor to help like uh, to increase the defense of our allies behind the knights. And also like um, I also use like the ironclad defense uh, as a passive uh, to help to. Uh, reduce the damage that they get. Let's see how this team works. Okay, let's get through the hands. Uh, for the first turn, uh, we will like uh, for the Asher, we can use like start from the multi shot first. Uh, we will focusing on defeating the the boa in the in the front.
And then for the priest, we will go for the holy lights first. We should cast some of the consistent damage, but this one, um, the effect is not activate. Uh, the next one is the mighty strike. Um, fight, try to like to beat them from the front first. Uh, the miss one. This is like the RNG that I mentioned that sometimes when you attack like a lands a lot of miss or you cannot do some of the dam damage. Uh, maybe uh, you also need to like uh, to uh, to get defeated and re and restart the, the game again. Once the HP of the front boar is like is split by half, um, the boar behind this guy it will make like um using the healing skill uh to to the front but actually we don't need to worry at all because like we got like enough damage to deal with this guy and we also need to wait for the martyr to uh to activate her skills like the wide charge one uh when she activate the wide charge one this one will help like um during the stats uh in the case that uh, when their baby wars are dead she will activate one of the skills that call the rampage which is like a very hard counter skill we don't expect to get that uh, so that during the the, the wild charge this one will not activate it so yeah we have around like two turns in order to like to beat the boar in the front which we can do some damage uh, and then like we can start like um um, the another rapid shot first and then on the third turn we can go for the repeating shot the repeating shot damage will come like um, twice in the case that it is using after um, the second skill all right this one we got like a the holy light effect uh, we can deal like a 22 damage for two turns uh, three turns which is like pretty nice for the priest got some the hit but and then like the wild charge coming okay so for the knights um it's like uh got some of the serious damage here we can start heal him but actually we need to focus on like before the bow are like after the wild shot has been used um the um like uh, the martyr boa they got in the exhaust stage which make her like a uh, turn order comes very slow and we have like two turns in order to beat this um like the this ba baby boar out from the game so we can use like um the repeating shot actually we got two turns for this one but i think like we can start from this one for sure um this one first or maybe we can go for the skill tree yeah let's go for the skill tree why not um the damage is rather like here big amount we can erase this guy from the game see 300 um yeah this is good amount of the damage and also we need to like to use like the holy beacon to heal um this night first and then this is like um maybe the way is clear now uh we can move the knight into the front and then do uh and then like we can switch the position and then like uh, the archer um to move behind the knights first and then um the next turn is comes to the knight again and we got like a consistently heal over the time we can start doing some damage into like uh, the baby old boar the middle one another miss lands here <laughs> seriously uh we can like using the holy light again after the like the martyr boa they uh, she used her skill she will like unable to like the wire charge from like for another five turns we need to wait again and we got some time to like to um attack into this baby boa we got some heal over time uh and then we can like deal some of the good damage with the mighty strike again mighty strike okay um but like the armor break effect is not activated um i could say that this uh this route is kind of a bad luck as well but um it's not the problem we still got sometimes 
when we got some of the times we can like we got three other potions whether it is like the health health well or like the mana well we can just put like a, the mana well to increase the mana um in the turn that um it is like we are not in the crisis situation uh i can throw this mana well upon exhausted state as as well for the archer so that we can continue dealing much more dam damage the heal over time keeps coming uh right and then we can lance another mighty strike into the baby boa here 78 percent which things miss again <laughs> there's a lot of miss happening um i think uh, we can continue doing uh, more damage rapid shot yeah lucky that we got the critical here we got the grants and then um i think like we need to like land this hill into the knights another holy beacon uh coming and then we can kill um i will show you like a uh, um uh we can now receiving like um, the rampage skill uh when you need to kill the baby boar uh when uh her mummy like still um still in the state that um heaven channeling she will like uh, activate one of the high damage um skills like the rampage i will show you here uh we can use the second skill to kill the baby or boar and then she will activate the rampage let's see here come to her turns and then she will use the rampage here um this is the reason why i um i try to like to chat to you guys that you need like uh, more than 400 hp for the priest because like uh, after um she lands the rampage maybe um, your priest maybe get killed by a single turn and then for the next thing it's like so far so good for us now to do more of the damage um i can use like the healing circle maybe uh the holy heal bake the holy beacon helps to heal a lot yeah and then we can we are ready to use this this one yet no um we can consistently use use this one first uh the rapid shot I can like land a lot of damage using this second skill and then like um use like a the repeated shot in the end. Oh damn, that's just like double turns on the end. So for the knights, we can keep like slashing. Keep slashing, keep slashing, doing consistent damage. Uh, okay. So we are good to like um actually the MP for the mana point um is not so good so we can use like another mana potion. Okay, uh we can use like uh we got around like 42 mana um that's still left. We can use the rapid shot again. And then find uh and the last one we will use like uh, the, the repeating shot at the end um the 77 it just only one hit lands and then we can use this repeat shot okay got some criticals and uh, after we use the third skill it will turns into like the exhaust stage uh i need to use this one some of the consistent damage skill into the boa holy lights all right um and we got like 22 damage for three more turns which is good for priest as the dps or the damage dealer to the team we can also use the knight to like to keep con consistently um, attack on the boa one more to go i think like for the uh for the holy lights it can also stack as well uh we will try to use this skill like for the next turn you see um actually it is like for for this team is is the team that i'm um i use for like under um, two or three days now 
and like uh even uh even the game well, with some of the bad rng it's got like um the the good win rates i could say and then um we can get some of the rewards from this one and also the huge exp uh from the quest as well so for those who don't have the team yet i encourage you guys like to get like one of each class the knight the archer and the priest and they like uh for this team it can uh grow uh their exp quite really fast uh and they like by um, playing into this pve con contents you can make like a one entry for each day yeah as you can see it's like land uh land island like continue as damage for the holy light and there that's pretty much it uh for the boa goodbye mommy boa <laughs> dang another miss uh why is this so much i don't know but uh, we can do this again bye bye Mami Boa, it's all done. Victory! And claim the hungry rewards. Let's see what we got. We got like um, um two Gaias here. They're like, as I mentioned, we got like a huge XP here. Uh, wish you guys enjoy this content and then like, don't forget to share your team um, and your thoughts, like uh, which team you are using and then like, I mean, it's like make the faster killing or or and also if you have the lead play of the team that you want to recommend me to improve just put it in the comment below and i wish like um this content will help you to get some of the ideas um what skills and like what classes that we are going to use to be the martyr boa i wish you guys got the best of the of the jobs that you are wishing for and then we will see you in the next video bye bye